I'm Savannah Leone, and this is Savannah Safari. I'm here at Parrot University with Debbie Foster, and this is Bosley. Debbie, can you tell me a little bit about Bosley? Bosley is a blue and gold macaw, or as we jokingly refer to her around here, a blue and bald macaw. She's a big flirt, as you can see, and she's actually a pretty young bird. She's about eight or ten years old. Debbie, I noticed some of Bosley's feathers are missing. They are. She's missing all the feathers on her chest and quite a few on her back. And the reason is she was housed with two very heavy chain smokers. And all of that nicotine permanently damaged her feathers. So this will not grow back. And it's an example of what happens when somebody takes on a bird without learning to care for them. Actually, I think she's lucky to be alive because birds have such sensitive respiratory systems that being exposed to chemicals, such as those in cigarette smoke, could kill them. Right now she's healthy and you can see she is quite a character. She thinks bald is beautiful so she's not worried about this feather loss at all. Well, will she ever be able to fly again? She will not. She actually has a wing that's damaged. Her left wing does not extend all the way. We don't know if this was a birth defect, if it's something that happened in the home, but she can't extend it so therefore she cannot fly. Well, what kind of things do you need to put in a cage to keep big birds like Bosley entertained? To keep any bird entertained in the cage, you have to have the biggest cage you can afford and it needs to be appropriate for the size of the bird because the um, diameter of the bars will be different and the spacing will be different. So for a big bird like Bosley, she needs a good cage that she can extend her wings in. But if you put a budgie in the same size cage, they can escape through the bars. The other thing you have to have is lots of different types of perches. So they'll be out of different materials, they'll be different diameters, and they'll be located in different places. And that exercises their feet all the time. You also have to have toys that they destroy because it's part of what they do in the wild. They shred things. Toys that they can preen, toys that they can play with. So you've got to keep them challenged because they're smart birds and they're always busy in the wild. So we try to, to simulate some of the instinctive behavior in here. So Debbie, what are we going to be doing with fossil set? We're going to let Bosley demonstrate what's called the retrieve. And from this trick, we can also teach a lot of other tricks like playing basketball. So she's pretty good at the retrieve. We're going to offer her a wiffle ball. And we're going to ask her to take it from one end of the perch and bring it to the other. And switch. Good girl. And do that one more time. Do you want to offer her the ball? Hold it like this. Way at the end, let her stretch for it. Good girl! Hello! Hello! <laughs> Big kiss. <laughs> Show me your pretty feathers! Pretty feathers! Oh, there they are! Good girl! Good girl! Can you wave? Good girl, wave. Good girl, nice, nice. All right, here's a big one, eagle wings. There you go, all the way out. Oh, big eagle wings, good girl. Oh, pretty eagle wings, all right. And take a bow, good girl. Will you turn around? Good job. Nice, take another bow, there you go. Good girl, yay, good girl. There you go, wave at them. Good girl, oh, good girl. You big ham. <laughs> well, thank you for answering my question, Debbie. You're welcome. Hello. I'm Samantha Leone, and this has been Savannah's Safari. <laughs>